Holiday and weekend cycling in particular, and sometimes in the evening, became by the 1880s and 1890s a very important recreation for people in Colorado, whether in Denver or in Leadville or Aspen or wherever. The Sunday outing on a bicycle was a very important social event, a middle class social event. Young couples would ride out the uh, Broadway bike path to Petersburg and beyond to Littleton to have picnics along the Platte River. Groups of young men and women would have outings together. I remember when bicycles were the popular means of going on outings. Every Sunday during the summer, groups of young people would stream out to the country with their picnic lunches tied to the handlebars of their bicycles. Of course, there were no paved roads like we have now, and it was real work sometimes to pedal the machine over some of the rough dirt roads. On Sundays, we'd take bicycle rides, and I used to take my missus for long rides. We go with about 20 other couples and take our lunch or stop for an ice cream soda. We had a club of riders, and we used to have what they call sentry rides, and many's the time I rode 100 miles on Sundays. They didn't have good roads, and I don't know which was the worst. For as soon as the good roads got here, traffic got too bad. If people only knowed what was good for them, they'd ride a bicycle. So it was very much a, uh, a community group kind of, of recreation. Bicycling was a popular form of dating. It started with large groups going out and having picnics or little outings. And from there it would branch off into couples leaving and, and going off on their own. It was a wonderful way and a new way of being unchaperoned. Again, you have the idea of young women going out on dates with their young men without necessarily having to suffer the chaperonage of a father or a brother. Very often these were group dates, but it wasn't unknown for a young couple to pedal their wheels, as they were called, out for a date all by themselves without supervision. 